Hello and welcome. My name is Heather. I'm a registered professional counselor and today I'm going to be watching Selling Sunset season five. So let's dive in. And she said to me, it really hurt my feelings that Vanessa and Davina didn't say anything because okay. we spent so the that's two... what you really Let me finish, want love. to say. So it seems that Chelsea is really trying to mediate the situation and she's trying to help clear the air between Christine and the other girls. And she is doing so by discussing what happened at their work event from before. And Christine is just saying that she was hurt by it. And Chelsea is just elaborating on what Christine had told her. I see where she's coming from in terms of why she wants to bring up this conversation. However, I don't know if she's really trying to resolve anything. Maybe there's a part of her that feels like she needs to stand up for Christine, especially since Christine has been telling her that none of the other girls stood up for her and all the other girls are mean to her or attacking her. And also Chelsea witnessed that firsthand at the party. And now maybe she's decided to appoint herself this role. And she's essentially calling out Davina and Vanessa for not standing up for Christine and saying that she was the only one who stood up for her. Just a reminder that everything I'm saying is a complete speculation. I'm not here to diagnose the participants. That is unethical. I don't know them personally. This is not a counseling session. The purpose of these videos is to use the events from the show to be able to talk about psychology concepts in general, relationship dynamics, and also how we can improve our communication skills. I'm upset because I feel like this is why you brought me here today to say that to me. And, and I'm a hurt because I have been defending Christine. She's a very good friend of mine. Yeah. You said that, she said that I want to be liked by everyone. Yeah, yeah, I'm she did say to that. Her. So yeah, so Christine, told her, yeah. Yeah. she told me. So you must okay. have said it. And it's true. Chelsea doesn't know Davina and she doesn't know any of the other girls. But to say that because of what Christine has told them and she takes it as fact or truth, I mean, yeah, it will create a lot of frustrations for the other girls because essentially... Chelsea is putting them in a box and this box is essentially what Christine gave her. And we see that Davina is still extremely hurt and there's a lot of pain behind what Christine has said about her. And of course Chelsea is going to do whatever she can to try to defend Christine and she's saying that this is what you allegedly told her without saying like oh well this is what Christine told me like, let me hear your side of the story. Oh, you didn't say that? Oh, okay, well, that's interesting. I guess there's a misunderstanding somewhere and I'm gonna try to not get myself too involved in this because this doesn't have anything to do with Chelsea, but she's kind of inserting herself into the conflict because she feels that she needs to step up and be there for Christine. And sometimes what can happen is that when people kind of triangulate themselves into the situation, which is, Christine versus the other girls. Uh, we'll put them as one entity or one unit, but essentially when people see that, they want to reduce those feelings of conflict or anxiety and they assert themselves into the situation without really trying to solve anything because now she's standing up for Christine because she feels that Christine needs help and she's trying to tell the other girls that, oh, this is what you guys did wrong. And there's just a lot of misunderstanding. Like I'm, I can't believe that Chelsea is actually asserting herself into this right now. I thought she wanted to get to know the other girls and why doesn't she just do that? Before I forget, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to help support this channel. It doesn't mean that because she told you something, it does not mean that that's the exact words that came so out of the So what were the exact words? Now Chelsea is getting mixed messages from the other girls, but I think what is happening is that since she spent so much time with Christine and she's had all this time to essentially absorb Christine's points of views and her perspective, and even though the other girls are trying to tell Chelsea that that's not true and give her new pieces of information, I don't think Chelsea is really going to be open to hearing the new information, even though it's very relevant to the story or very much relevant to the whole situation. And I've talked about this in my previous video about how priming a person's perceptions around a situation or around someone else actually influences how they view that person. She said, Davina doesn't want to be friends with me anymore because the other ladies don't like me and you want to be liked well, that's by That's her the other perception. Ladies. That's her perception. We would never not like Davina because she's friends with Christine. And so we've seen in the previous episodes how Christine would describe the other girls to Chelsea. And we've seen her basically tell Chelsea that 
everyone would ignore her and everyone is mean to her. And Chelsea saw firsthand what happened at their work event in which all the other girls were ganging up on Christine. No one was standing up for her except for Chelsea. So it's possible that Chelsea might ignore all these other information that's conflicting with her now beliefs about what the other girls are like to Christine and essentially how they are. Michelle never told any of us girls to not be friends with Christine because she didn't like her. Is that true? Oh, a hundred thousand percent. We would never tell Davina to not be friends with Christine because of issues we've had, ever. So in psychology, this is something that we would call confirmation bias. Confirmation bias is a tendency for one to favor, recall, remember, or interpret information in a way that confirms their previous beliefs or values. And anytime there's any information that might be conflicting that or disputing that, they ignore it. So it could be possible that Chelsea is now in a position where she falls victim to confirmation bias. So whenever Chelsea hears information that might not align with her beliefs or understanding of the girls or basically what Christine has told her, she basically ignores it. So when the other girls such as Heather are saying that we would never tell Davina to not be friends with Christine, it's definitely very possible that because of confirmation bias and also with the priming of information from before meeting the girls, that essentially this new information just gets disregarded because she doesn't believe that and she's only going to search for examples, evidence, or information that confirms her beliefs already about the girls, which is that they're horrible, they're bullies, and they are mean to Christine. So anytime someone tries to tell Chelsea that, you know, these things that she's heard from Christine aren't true or they are just Christine's perspective and it's not based in reality, it's possible that she's not going to believe that. She's going to double down and believe what Christine originally told her about these girls. It's important to recognize what our biases are and how that might be impacting our understanding of the situation and impacting our actions and behaviors as well because it does impact our actions and our behaviors. So in order to overcome the confirmation bias, you have to be one, aware of the bias and two, be open to new perspectives or new information without judging it. And it can also help to recognize or admit that maybe you don't have all the answers or that the way that you're thinking or the information that you do have or the belief that you do have might not be the only belief out there. I feel like it's getting lost in translation. All I was saying is in that moment, saw four or five ladies attacking one lady and it comes across as bullying. And it's also possible that on top of the priming and confirmation bias, maybe Chelsea has some traumas around bullying. When we have a situation that reminds us of a past hurt or a past trauma, we get triggered. So I'm thinking that's what's going on for Chelsea. And that can also feed into wanting to protect Christine or wanting to be on Christine's side or wanting to mediate the situation and wanting to clear the air. But Chelsea, there's a yes, lot of things that have happened over the last years. Is Should anyone perfect? be attacked? No, but yeah. a lot of people feel attacked by you. That's not fair to say that you know, you're defending just her or you feel bad for her. Everyone has pain from a lot of things that have happened. So I'm glad that Heather stepped in and she's doing her best to try to clarify what's going on. And the other girls are essentially confirming what Heather is saying. Now for Chelsea, instead of apologizing essentially and saying like, oh, you know what? You're absolutely right. I do apologize. Like, I guess I didn't have all the information about the situation. I'm sorry if I came across as if I was judging you or attacking you. This is just what Christine told me and you're absolutely right. I should have asked you, you know, what was your perception of the story or what was going on for you. I want everyone to know that I am genuinely doing everything I can to mend relationships with everyone. So it looks like Christine is trying to take ownership. She's trying to take responsibility. She's trying to show that she understands what she's done in the past was wrong. I mean, that's good to see. And I think that the girls need to hear that. I mean, she could definitely elaborate a little bit more in terms of what she's doing to change. So she has said that she's working on mending her relationships and we saw that, you know, she was talking to Heather one-on-one. -on -one. Was that it? I mean, I guess she talked to Davina too. I know I've fucked up. Like I own up to that, I do. And it's always coming from a place of feeling hurt and I've reacted and I'm so sorry to each and every one of you. And she's saying that she felt hurt and that she lashed out essentially and therefore that can help give some context as to why she said the things she said or 
did the things that she's done before and it can help explain the behavior and by giving the girls context as to why she was lashing out it can let them know that Christine has thought about it and you know she's digging deeper and if she realizes where these lashing out or these feelings of pain are coming from then she could change her behavior in the future. Also going to therapy might be helpful for someone in Christine's position but again they have to be open and willing to want to change and wanting to mend their relationships with other people. So it's not to say that people can't change by themselves but they definitely don't have to change by themselves. There is definitely support out there and if she is reacting from deep pain or deep hurt or past traumas yeah that's where you would go to therapy in order to heal those past traumas so you don't keep falling into the same behavioral pattern and hurting your relationships because even if she were to mend the relationships with the girls now, it's highly possible that in future relationships, these hurts will come up again and she might start lashing out or hurting those people. That's why it's important to be able to recognize what we need to work on and go to therapy to actually work on it with a licensed professional who knows how to work on these things. Emma, I really genuinely would love to get to know you. Because I think you're really, really, really sweet. And I think you and I could get along really well. Christine did say that she wanted to work on her friendship with Emma and she wants to um, essentially get to know her. You know, we'll have to see whether or not there will be appropriate actions taken working towards that. And it's possible that Christine is just on her best behavior and she's put on an act for Chelsea to try to prove to Chelsea that she is a good person. Only time will tell to see if what Christine says and if her apologies and if she really wants to work on a friendship with Emma is really true. So, I mean, I hope it is, but you know, we'll just have to see. I'm definitely not shocked that Christine is trying to apologize, but I'm not going to fall for these games, which she does all the time. And then she does really awful things two seconds later. It's normal for her to feel cautious and to essentially want to see some changes. Just saying that, oh, I want to be friends with you, or I think we'll get along long isn't going to fix anything, right? And there needs to be appropriate action and it's going to take some time to be able to build that trust because Emma needs to be able to see that sense of effort from Christine. And again, I think that if the girls are able to see that effort from Christine and see that Christine is changing and she's no longer saying these things about them, then they're more likely to open up to her and be more welcoming of Christine to the group. So it's not rocket science. It could definitely be an easy fix. But again, if you have compounding layers of hurt, which these girls have, and if you have them essentially pitted against each other, and if Christine continues to say all these hurtful things or continue to add fuel to the fire, the girls are not going to want to be around Christine and they're going to continue to ignore her because they don't want to reward that behavior. The ball is in Christine's court because all the other girls have let Christine know what they need to see from her in order to change and I don't think that it really makes a lot of sense for the girls to just suddenly be welcoming and nice and all you know smiles and rainbows to Christine when Christine hasn't done anything to change and it doesn't make a lot of sense especially if the girls are extremely hurt and hesitant and they're worried that Christine is going to say mean things about them again. Make sure to like this video and subscribe for more analysis videos like this. In the meantime, Feel free to check out my other therapist reviews videos and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, be kind and love yourself.